Hey, what's up you guys? If you're planning on towing a trailer with your GMC Canyon, you have to have trailer wiring installed. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So let's start by saying that GMC makes this really easy for us. It's already pre-wired. It has all of our wires that we need for a seven-way plug already located right here on the inside of our driver's side frame rail. Now we have a kit that comes with all the parts that you need for your Canyon. It has a plug that will convert it to a seven way. And this has all the wires that you need for that. And then we have a four and seven way trailer wiring plug that has both functions that gives you an OE look, which our Canyon already has a spot marked out for us on our bumper where we can plug this in to give it a professional installation. So we're gonna take our harness, it's attached to our frame rail, so we're just gonna pull on it till it comes loose. That way we have a little bit more room to work with. So now that we have access to all of our wires, we're gonna go ahead and strip all of them to get it ready to attach with buck connectors. We're just going to cut off the end, and then we'll go ahead and strip them all to the correct size. We don't want all of them just hanging around with loose wires because if they touch each other, they may short out. So as we strip each one, we're gonna take a heat shrink buck connector. And we have two different sizes. We have this yellow buck connector for our larger gauge wires and we have a blue one for our small one as that will have a better connection for us. And then we'll go ahead and crimp it down. And we're gonna repeat that on all of our wires. Now on our plug, we're gonna slightly modify it. We don't need this ring terminal for our white wire since we have a ground wire in there already. So we're just gonna cut this the same length as all the other wires. And we can keep this inside our bundle by just pushing this up. So let's go ahead and start with all of our lighting functions for our harness. We're gonna start with our green wire. This is for our right turn signal and right brake. Now we're gonna take our green wire from our kit and we're gonna go ahead and attach that to the green wire. And then we'll give it a nice tug just to make sure we have a good connection. Now we'll move on to our yellow wire. Now our yellow wire is for our left turn signal and our left brake light. And we're gonna take our yellow wire from our kit and attach it there. Next we have our brown wire. Brown wire is for our running lights. We're gonna take the brown wire from our kit and attach it there. Now our small gray wire is for our reverse light. We're gonna take our purple wire from our kit and we're gonna attach it into that butt connector. Now our black wire is for our ground, which will take our white wire and attach it there. Our blue wire is for our brake controller. We'll take the blue wire from our kit and we'll connect it to that butt connector.
Now our last wire is our orange wire. This is our power wire. We're gonna take our red wire from our kit, go ahead and crimp it down. So we're using heat shrink buck connectors for all of this since it has added protection and insulation. Now we're gonna use a butane torch to activate the heat shrink. Once all the buck connectors have cooled down, we're just gonna take some tape and we're gonna secure it to give it a more professional look. So now on our bumper, this is where our trailer wiring will plug into. We just need to remove this housing. Now we're just gonna go behind our bumper so we can do that. Now on the back side of our bumper to remove this plug, we have these two metal tabs on both sides. We're gonna push it in, and that will allow us to remove this. Now we're gonna take our connector, and we're just gonna plug it in, just till you hear that click. And it has the same exact metal tabs as the other housing, so this will just lock into place. And then you're all set and ready to tow a trailer. So that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this install, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.